Happy Fam Long Run Sunday. We have 28 Ks to get done. Just hit the 7K mark and I'm realizing that while I haven't been sharing some of my long runs lately, that isn't me. I've been out here running still, getting it done. However, my long runs have been horrendous. I haven't had the energy to share, which is fair, because I've needed to give that energy to myself. I don't just come out here and run ultras. I deal with my shit while I'm out here. Really, that's how this whole thing started, was by just a girl running for her own mental health, clearing out her shit while inspiring others to do the same. But while lately I'm still doing my long runs, it has not come without its challenges. Lately I've been hitting 19, 21, 22 Ks and it's almost like I have massive panic attacks. I can't breathe and I get really closed off up here. It's like something's pulling me back. What's been pulling me back is the old responsibility and old traumas that I've kept inside. And it's rearing its head now because it wants to be healed. It wants to be seen and it wants to be worked through. I'm working on releasing and letting go of some of this responsibility and the old traumas this week, but 28 Ks today. Let's see how we go. 15 Ks down, 13 Ks to go. Had something quickly to eat, a little bit of water, followed by a power truck. <laughs> Moving through some stuff, but feeling strong today. That's all that matters. She coming up again. I think the coolest thing about me, my story, yes, I said I'm pretty cool. That while I know I need to push physically, I know when I need to listen to my body and every step of the way, even though I'm pushing hard and I'm pushing physically, my body is always at the forefront of my mind because how hard I've worked to get my body to be as healthy and as fit as it is now, I'm not going to jeopardize that for anything. Oh, I would be doing a disservice to my authentic self and to you guys if I actually didn't share this part with you guys because whenever I'm feeling this way, this, this is like a whole nother realm that I've been tapping into and that I've been exploring over the last two, three years. To me, this is when you can truly become limitless is when you tap into this realm. Whenever I'm in these stages of my run, it's not physical. I'm at a stage now where yes, I'm keeping on moving forward, but what I'm actually doing is I'm actually asking my higher self, I'm actually asking my spirit on like what it actually needs right now. And I'm listening to that. Using to listen to that, opposed to all of the logic, masculinity, structure, structure, stuff that we hear. And every time I choose to listen to my spirit and my higher self, I come back way stronger. And truth be told, on my long run, when I ran 1600 Ks, every single day I was tapping and I was connecting into my spirit. That's why every single day it got easier and easier and I got fitter and fitter and I had no injuries. And now it's just a reminder that on these long runs, I need to continuously just tapping into my spirit and asking, what do I need? What do I need? And right now it's telling me that my body is so deficient. Deficient in vitamin B, vitamin D. I need to start taking my fish oil again and I need to let go. I need to let go of the responsibility piece that's all stored here, which that's pretty epic. Right now in this moment, all I really needed was to walk, have some cold water and then to smash out the last 5K. So that's what I'll do, baby. And finally, I truly believe that you know more about your body than anyone else. When you tune out here, tune into here. 28 Ks, done and dusted. I've got goosebumps and all. And I've even got some of my biscuit leaking out of me. Oh. <laughs> and that's the reality of it. There's nothing pretty about distance running. And if you've fallen into the trap to think you gotta look glamorous by doing it, honey, this is your place.